Hello and welcome to Sotten Anatomy Hub. This short video is somewhat a continuation of a previous one, which looked at the more general muscles of the foot. Now we will examine the muscles of the big and little toes, which are all on the plantar surface. As before, remember that the muscles of the hand and foot are very similar. Just like the thenar eminence of the thumb, the big toe, or hallux, has three muscles attached. These are flexor hallucis brevis, adductor hallucis, and abductor hallucis. Superficially, the flexor hallucis brevis originates from the cuboid and medial cuneiform bones and inserts via a divided tendon on the lateral and medial proximal phalanx to give the flexion action. Alongside it, adductor hallucis has two heads, an oblique head from the base of metacarpals 2 to 4, and a transverse head from the MTP joints of the outer three toes. Both heads insert on the lateral proximal phalanx of the hallux. Deep to these two muscles is abductor hallucis, which runs from the medial calcaneus to the proximal phalanx of the hallux. Note that all of these have attached distally onto the proximal phalanx. Easy. There are small differences in where on the phalanx they attach, but you can predict this based on their action. Abductor, laterally, adductor, medially, and flexor to both lateral and medial surfaces. Now let's look at the little toe. The little toe is easy as it has only two muscles specific to it the abductor digiti minimi and the flexor digiti minimi brevis. Superficially, the small muscle flexor digiti minimi brevis runs from the base of the fifth metatarsal to the lateral proximal phalanx of the little toe. Deep to this, abductor digiti minimi runs from the calcaneal tuberosity to the lateral side of the proximal phalanx. And that's it. There's nothing nasty about the foot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.